Hey guys, I wanted to introduce you to my swing. So this is an incredible swing that I built in the backyard for my kids. When they were a little younger, they still love it, even though they're older now. And I'm just gonna show it to you. We're looking off the deck of my house and below you can see the, the seat of the swing there. And if you go up, you can see the ropes go up, 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 to those anchor points way up there in the tree. So, so this was quite a story. Um, how I got that swing up there. I had uh, seen my friend Andy's swing, which was pretty incredible. And it was like a big net hung between two trees. And uh, one of the things that really took me about the swing is when you got on it, you just kind of kept swinging and swinging and swinging. You didn't go back right away. I tend to get a little bit motion sick. So swings that go back and forth like that tend to not be a good thing for me. So I wanted to make a swing that would be good for the kids, that would be exciting for the kids that wouldn't make me sick, um, that was sort of epic. And so the ropes are about 40 feet long, going from the seat all the way up to those anchor points up there. And um, there's a bit of a funny story about how I built that swing. So I had some leftover rock climbing rope um, that was safe to use, of course, but just not suitable for rock climbing anymore. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to stretch this up from the, the, the hardwood seat that I made um, up to those anchor points. So what I did is I took a, a really long ladder that my neighbor had and I leaned it up against the one tree. And then um, I could get up there and I could put an anchor there, but that was only halfway to the top. So I was going around a branch there and I kind of gave up on that. I didn't go the rest of the way. But then I came back and uh, I had this crazy idea. Wearing my rock climbing stuff, I um, anchored myself to that anchor at the top of the ladder. And then I lifted up the ladder and using cargo straps, like you'd strap something down to the back of your pickup truck or something, I, I shoved the ladder up, up, up the tree and shoved it up all the way so that the, the cargo straps were keeping it on the tree as it went above me. And then I anchored the bottom of the ladder to that anchor I was tied into. Then I got off that and I climbed the ladder up the tree tightening cargo straps as I went. I know, sounds crazy, right? So I got up to the top and got that anchor up there. It's, it's uh, nylon webbing um, that's suitable for setting anchors for, for rock climbing. And uh, put locking beaners there and tied off the ropes. And I thought, you know, that was pretty crazy, cargo strapping uh, a ladder to a tree and climbing it. There's gotta be a safer way to do this. So I, you know, rappelled down the rope and brought the ladder down and all that, got all the gear out of the tree. And I decided I was gonna be safe. So I went and bought myself a, a cheap kid's bow and arrow and uh, I was gonna shoot fishing line up into the tree and tied to that fishing line after the, the arrow went in the right place, there was sort of a, a thin rope or a thin cord. And I was just gonna pull that up at the fishing line and pull it over and then there was the real rope and I'd pull that up and then I could climb up that rope and I'd just you know, tie on the anchors and whatnot, no problem. Well, I don't know if you've ever tried shooting a bow and arrow. It, it is straightforward, but you don't necessarily always have the arrow go where you want. That's why people practice, I suppose. Um, but if you've tried shooting an arrow that's tied to fishing line, it behaves even more differently. There's this drag on it and it's getting pulled back. So that was tricky. And then shooting into a tree, like there's leaves and branches and things that get in the way. And you know, if the arrow or the string or anything touches any of those, it keeps changing direction. So I, I shot and shot and shot. It took me three days until I finally had the arrow in the correct location. You know, it would go over some wimpy little branch that wasn't gonna hold any weight at all. Or the arrow would uh, break off and be stuck in the tree dangling somewhere over my head, ready to fall on me when the wind blew. Or, um, or I'd get it exactly where I wanted it, right, right over top. And, and when I went to pull up the cord, the cord would come off the fishing line or the fishing line would come off the arrow or, and on and on and on. So this, um, this was a point in time where I basically wasn't talking to anybody. I'd get up in the morning and go shoot the stupid arrow all day long and then, you know, grumpily eat my supper and go to bed. Um, but eventually I got it because I figured eventually this was going to pay off, even if it wasn't a lot of fun wasting vacation days doing this because I'm a horrible shot. So I did get it up there. I did get the arrow up through the, the right place, um, but not before I took the ladder to the tree and cut down a whole lot of extra branches and things that were in the way. Uh, to, to make my shot clearer. Um, I, even put, I even put it in the wrong tree a few times. It was, it was kind of sad. So there's my big story. Three days of shooting an arrow into a tree to get that rope up there. Got those anchors in there, able to climb up and able to, to tie that off properly, locking beaners and whatnot. 
bring that down, set the seat nice for the kids. They've had a blast, they've enjoyed it. Friends and neighbors have enjoyed it. It was a really good investment in time, even though at the beginning, those three days, it did not seem like it was worth it at all. So every couple of years I go up there and change those, um, those anchors so that uh, if anything's breaking down in the sun and the moisture and whatnot, that it should stay safe for everybody. So I think I'm due next summer. I've got to climb up there and change those webbing anchors out again to keep everybody safe. So there's my swing. Uh, now I'm going to show you the swing so you can see um, how far it goes. Thank you.